the straight front seat passenger from a car versus car in the air. It's BGCS 14, BP 90 over 60, pulse 100. Complaining of chest and abdominal pains. Nice work. Did you put that in? How no. Ah, oh, Craig, you just couldn't help yourself. If Craig hadn't done the EJ, this lady wouldn't have made it. Yep, I know. It's your lucky day today. <laughs> And it's your lucky nut tonight, superhero. No, don't give me that. We're on again, boss. Unless you want a break. Hey, breaks are for old men. Keep up, eh? Oh. I don't think I'll be able to look Claire in the eye. The little rat bag. I thought she'd changed. I really did. Oh, and I'm really sorry that I couldn't tell you, Mum. You should be sorry. Well, I wanted to, but Libby wouldn't let me say anything to anyone. Not even Maya. How come you and Mark knew all about it, then? She needed somewhere to stay. And Mark doesn't know all the details. Anyway, you would have found out soon enough. Soon enough isn't good enough, though, is it? I'm her mother. She should be staying at my house. She, she should be crying on my shoulders. Oh, keeping you awake in the middle of the night. Wouldn't be the first time. Mum! What? This is exactly why Libby doesn't want to talk to you about it. You can be a little bit judgmental. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just trying to help. I know, but from our point of view, sometimes you can be a bit... Look, why don't you just get it all out of your system now? Get what out of my system? All the nasty stuff. Just say whatever you like to me, and then the next time you see Libby, you'll be all bright and breezy. I don't have any nasty stuff. Oh, really? So you're not thinking, I told you so, I always knew there was something funny about him, just like George. No, of course not. It's for the best, dear. See? Am I allowed to speak at all? No. Not really. Not if it's about Kieran. So I have to pretend that it never happened. The engagement. The heart broken. Yes. For how long? Until Libby says otherwise. Down syndrome. Um, yeah. I'm just doing a bit of patient research. Right. It's good to keep informed, you know, up to date. Yeah, yeah. You should study CLD next. It's a fascinating subject area. CLD? Compulsive lying disorder, although I'd say you've already got that one covered. You promised to tell me if there was anything wrong. It hasn't been confirmed yet. I've got another scan in 12 days. Chances? The usual risk for women my age is uh, 1 in 1,400, but... Uh, Maya. It's a 1 in 3 chance. Why didn't you tell me straight away? I was processing. Yeah, well, process this. I am the baby's father. I have a right to know if the baby has Down syndrome. Just because you're giving me money doesn't mean you can boss this me around. This isn't about money. Oh, whatever. I didn't want to tell you until it was confirmed. Maya, everything you feel about this baby, I'm feeling it too. No! I'm the one who bawled my eyes out for months on end. I'm the one who shopped all over town for a father. You have just helped me out. You know, of all the things you've ever said to me, that is the most despicable. I'm just trying to keep things in their proper place. Me over here and you and Tanya it's over there. too late there. for that. What does that mean? It means that is my baby. I care about it. I love it. Right now, I'm worried about it. You can't stop that. Okay, so you're doing repairs? No, with a concrete cutter, we hit the gas main. How many guys still down there? Um, two, yeah. They're both unconscious? Yeah, yeah. Are they injured? Um, Jacko, his legs sliced open. Yeah. With a concrete cutter? I couldn't move. It's right. okay. Still, yeah. You did the right thing coming up. Okay. I'll turn the gas off. Right. Uh, rescue team will be here soon. Well, the motorway's busy this time of day. Craig, you have to wait for the respiration gear. He got Just out. Little... Just. And they turned the gas off. Uh, hello, it's a tunnel. Ventilation issues. And you're still recovering from an MI. Please tell me you're not going in. He could die down there, you know that. I also know you're breaking every rule in the book. You know how I feel about those rules.
Grunter, we've got an arterial bleed. We need to get him out of here. Have you seen Libby today? No. If you do, just be nice. I'm not going to tell you why and don't try forcing it out of me. Okay. Come on, macaroni, cheese, double serve my shout. Oh, no, no thanks. But you love the big carbs, don't you, Bubba? And today. Don't tell me the morning sickness is back. Uh, um, just a bit. But you've already hit the second trimester. It should all be over by now. Everyone's different. Oh, you poor thing. Do you want some ginger ale? That should fix you up. No. Have I done something wrong? Of course not. I'm sorry for snapping. Sometimes you just need people to leave you alone for five minutes, huh? I'll track down that man of mine. Annoy him. Good idea. You haven't seen him around, have you? No. Okay. Come on, guys! I think he's in hypovolemic shock. Hey, hey, hey. What? Hey, hey, there's nothing left to pump. Uh, gotta stop the bleeding. Have a way out, do it. I just need a minute. We're running out of those. Give adrenaline. I'm on it. I'm gonna try and snap the artery. Yeah, I thought of that. But that's something only a doctor could do. Unfortunately, the one we had was unconscious. Pass me the forceps. He's got no output. He's dead. They turned off the gas, I thought. I have a dead man lying here. Do you really think I need excuses right now? I'm sorry. If you just followed the protocols, you would have been the doctor on site. You would have clamped that artery and we could have saved this guy's life. But for some reason, he's dead and you're my patient. What's wrong with this picture? Whatever it is, it can wait. Just sit down. I want to make something really clear. I am not breaking out the champagne. Um. I am not judging you. I never want you to feel embarrassed around me. I love you. And you can come to me any time. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Apart from Claire as a little tramp who deserves every bit of revenge that I can dream up. You? Revenge? Doubt it. There are things that I can do to make her day very difficult. Oh, banish her to the photocopier room. Big deal. The photocopier room? Counting paper clips on the night shift every night for a month. Can you make it too? Done. Why don't you come and stay at my place? Just until you get your head together. It's safer at dance. That way, if Karen comes knocking, then we can set Mark onto him. Kick him out of the flat. And Claire, it's your place. You, it's not like you to be pushed around. Um, Sorry. Judgmental? Just annoying. Sorry. No more annoying comments. No questions? None whatsoever. And no patting on the back either. <sighs> maybe you can do that. Just maybe like once. Come here, you. <laughs> hey, Shanti. Yeah, it's Alice. How are you? Hey, is um, is Craig still about? Oh no, that's fine. I'll just ring him on his cell phone. Okay, don't work too hard.
why uh, Craig gets me again. I, uh, I can't be bothered anymore. The ship isn't real, tis tonight. Hey, I'm the one who should be saying sorry for being such a mean girl. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. I should have known not to bother you at work. Oh, it had nothing to do with work. Just a bad day. Jay? Mm. Bad day, my butt. All right, lady, from the top. I don't know where to start. Okay, so it's a biggie. All right. Well, we'll start with the who, and then we'll move on to the what when you're ready. You're gonna think I'm such an idiot. Oh, no, it's too stuffy in here. Let's head outside. <laughs> you could always hear her before you could see her. <gasps> Call me sometime. Hi. Hello. Hi. The usual, guys? Thanks. Tough. Oh, it's good to see you eating again. Mm. Don't want our little nephew starving in there. Hey, mm. No. I'm sorry. So am I, for letting myself be treated like a doormat for so long. Not oh, Alice. No! I'm sick of being your nursemaid. Sick of being taken for granted. Sick of waiting for you to get your act together. I killed a man today. The gas leak, did you hear about it? Yeah, we treated two guys. Yeah, well, it should have been three. I went down into the tunnel without any respiration gear on. Conked myself out. By the time I came to, Grunt was having trouble reviving him. It was an accident. You didn't kill anyone. All I had to do was clamp his damn artery, save his life. But oh no, your superhero was passed out in the bloody gurney, wasn't he? Oh, but make a move, man. Yeah. Hey Take me to radiology, why don't you? Oh, I'll break your ass, that oh. all right. <laughs> Come on, oh, what you got? What you got, what you got? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boom! You're a machine today. Yeah. Well, uh, got to get rid of the stress somehow. This is giving you a hard time. No, no, she's sweet, it's just uh, other things. Work things. No, I study things, nothing new. Hey, what, huh? Best of three. You're on. I don't warn you. Been letting you off lightly. Yeah. Check. <laughs> Gee, nice one, brother. <gasps> what are you doing? Wow. Don't. This Friday, the travel show with a twist makes a return when our Limerick-born tour guide takes us to her friend's homeland of Vietnam. Welcome to my world, Friday at 8.30 here on RTE1.